If you want to get a heavily discounted game every 24 hours and the ability to earn free games with purchases, head on over to chrono.gg slash bigfry. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry. Today I want to talk to you guys about Dead Matter. They just dropped another development vlog and I want to freaking talk about it. First things first, if you guys are following these videos on Dead Matter, um, you guys will see this is the first time that you guys can really see like a YouTuber kind of coming out. Whoever's recording the vlogs, I'm actually not sure. This time around, he seems a little bit more enthusiastic and a little bit more comfortable talking into the microphone. And it's really interesting just like watching the transition from like Undertaker circa 1994 with the hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And then now he just seems a little bit more enthusiastic, which is nice. It's like watching a little YouTuber come out of his shell. Anyways, I just wanted to make fun of him a little bit. Um, all right, so we have new cabins and toilets uh, for outdoor. You guys can see here. Um, they're like public toilets. They're not like porta potties, but looks pretty good. Commercial warehouses. There's a new church that they're adding to the game, which looks really good. This is something that I kind of want to see if we can take over and maybe make a base out of it. I don't know if you can do something like that. I'm really curious. Can anybody say Big Fry Cult? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Is that something we could do? I don't know. He also did another pass on the police station, which looks really good. I got to say, Shirk is doing a really good fucking job at the environmental art of this game. Everything that I've seen him do is phenomenal work. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed every single time one of these vlogs come out and there's just new shit. And, like, the, the speed and the efficiency is insane. I, I just, I have to hand it to them. One thing I really like that they're doing is they're making evacuation centers, which apparently is like a haven for infected, but they're making it so that they spawn in different areas based on your server. So on one server, it's going to be in one place. You jump to another server, it could be in another, which I think is just a cool little addition. In the video, they talk about setting off alarms so you can like bring infected to you or if somebody breaks into the area that you're in, you could pull the alarm on them and escape, which is really cool. One thing I gotta say, in the video, in the dev vlog, you can definitely see the frame rate dipping in this one, which I think is the first time I've seen like any real type of alarming gameplay performance get it Al alarm game anyway um yeah so i gotta <laughs> I'm, I'm a fucking idiot uh I i'm kind of nervous about that this is the first time like i said that i've seen any sort of like really bad dipping so i, I kind of want to get their uh thoughts on on why that's happening is is there is there something going on that's causing it i i, I just want to i want to make sure this game comes out right they showed off an adaptive peaking system which is really cool so if you're like aiming at something and then you crouch behind a box and you move up to it it'll like automatically peak up over i want to see how this works i like the idea on paper and then showing it in the video it looks really good but i want to see like what happens if i don't want to peek over and because i'm so close to a box it automatically does it for me and then throws my head out and and I get sniped or something. I just want to see how it works in different scenarios. So that's something that we're definitely going to be testing once I can get my hands on it. This site right here is ugly as fuck. They added six new weapons to the game. You have the HR-75 pistol, the HP-9 pistol, the E-92 pistol, the Makarov pistol. So many pistols. And then they have the AK-74, which looks really good. The sight on the AK-74 looks a lot better than that last one. And then they also have the wood axe, which is pretty cool. They say that they're going to use the wood axe animations for any other melee weapon, like maybe a baseball bat or something where you can swing it. And I think that's, like they said, it's just going to be onboarding all these new weapons using the same animation system, which is cool. So that's good they got that in there. This game has a lot of small details in it with like the road signs and stuff like this. And with this one, there's now construction signs. And you can tune them to whatever you want to type on there some of them they said you can even like drag behind on a trailer so you could like drive around with a sign like saying fuck you or whatever and just be able to like drive around town or drive around the world and display that which i think is really cool it's stuff like that that i think is going to set this game apart from all the other survival games is that attention to detail and also the interaction with the objects in the world another game kind of did something like that i think it was called identity only i mean hopefully this game comes out and 
Well, you, 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 you get it. They showed off another pass on their inventory system and they showed what it looks like to like place objects. It looks a little awkward with like the rotation. I gotta see how that feels in game. Um, just the video, just the rotation on the mouse. It just looked a little strange. So I'm definitely gonna check that out. They said their doors before in game were terrible. So they went back and fixed them and they actually have like physical interaction with them. Um, so you can like run and like just run at an ambulance door like it shows here and just close it, which I think is pretty cool. And you're also able to knock on doors, which is gonna be awesome. I'm just going to knock on people's bases and run away and shit and just play like Nicky Nicky nine door. That's, <laughs> that's going to be fun as fuck. Then they go on to say that they also are offering a couple different bundles for the game. Uh, you can apparently get your name on a Jersey. So I went to their Indiegogo page and this is something that I really want to talk about now. Um, there's a Jersey bundle on there for $70 us. It gets you a copy of the game, gets you alpha access to the game. You can get your name in the credits and then you can put your name on a Jersey in game which is pretty cool a cool customization um and then they have a road warrior bundle where you can actually get a road in the game named after but you can just name a road in the game you can put it after your character name or whatever um so the road warrior bundle is 150 dollars us it includes two alpha keys name in the credits a copy of the game uh you can get a picture of your pet in the game and then you can name a road in the game as well. My question to that is I would love to get my name on a jersey. And I kickstarted the game back whenever the Kickstarter was up. I want to know, like, if I already kickstarted at, let's say, 40 bucks, I think that was what my tier was. Can I get the jersey perk by paying the difference? Or do I have to buy another bundle and do it like that and spend another whole 70 and then I'd be technically sitting with two alpha keys. I'm just curious to see how they're going to do that for the people who have already backed. Can you upgrade your pledge? And I know that was a Kickstarter pledge. This is now on their Indiegogo page. I'm just curious to see how they're going to handle the back end for that because I would love to get my name on a jersey, but I just want to know, do I have to rebuy the entire bundle to do it? That's a question that I think should be asked and should be discussed. Um, if you guys want to catch one of the developers on the Black Sight podcast, that's um, a streamer named Clean. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a big EFT guy. He did a podcast with Blue Drake 42, and they also brought on Johnny from Dead Matter. And they talked about the game industry and a lot of different opinions. And, and it was just a more casual conversation talking about the survival genre, the gaming industry. I'm going to link that down below as well if you guys want to go catch him on there and just try to get to know the developers a little bit and just kind of see where their mindset is going into the industry, coming in as an indie developer. It was a pretty interesting conversation. And if you guys want more Dead Matter content, just make sure you guys hit the subscribe button here. I'm going to be covering this game all the way through until the end. I can't fucking wait to play it. We're going to have such a blast. If you guys want to catch gameplay once it comes out, I'm going to be streaming this game a lot on Twitch. So my links to all that shit is going to be down below. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to share this content, make sure you guys hit the like button as well, dude. You guys have no idea how much it helps sharing the content. I appreciate all of you guys' support. Thank you guys for leaving the comments and, and liking the videos and all that stuff. I, I love it. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for everything. 2018's winding down, and then we're going to ramp up for a solid 2019. I can't fucking wait. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one.